What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to Some Satisfactory. We left off last episode in a serious concrete shortage as we really want to pave the world in this particular playthrough and I just can't do it with the concrete production I've got going on right now. Now I've been a little concerned about this node over here for the limestone as it just seems a little funky and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a miner on top of it so first things first today I want to test to see if I can and here we go with the moment of truth is a miner gun to go here wow it actually is going to work without a problem that is just awesome I don't know which way I want to put it though it's wonky. It sits really high up in the air. I think I want to just do it like that for right now, as this is very important to me. As, you know, I want a nice, big, clean base. Obviously, we've got a huge amount of open sky here. So, ideally, I want to go up to a platform that could potentially cover a large portion of this valley. And then in addition to that, maybe even go up another level and go one platform past that. But I need to get this squared away. Now, one thing with the miner, there's no smelting required. We're going right, pulling the limestone right on out of there. And we want to go directly into a constructor. So with a constructor, we see we're going to need three reinforced iron plates. We've actually got the cable. So let's get to making some reinforced iron plates here. So we're going to have to stop by our lovely little iron storage units here and grab. Oh, wow. They are filling up super, super quick. Jeez. I was not expecting them to fill up quite that quick, but that's all right. I'd rather be full on iron and have an unlimited supply than have to sweat it. So let's see. We want to get, what, reinforced iron plates. So we're going to need screws and regular plates. Let's make a... Let's make a bunch of regular plates up. I think that will be more than enough. And how many did we actually need? I can't remember. Let's see. We needed uh, just three reinforced plates. But if we look, I also need ten for this next milestone. So that is something to think about as well. Ideally, if I made thirteen reinforced plates, I think I would be uh, pretty pleased with that. So let's see if I can come up yeah it looks like we're good I'll just keep on keep on pumping them out make as many reinforced plates as I can here it looks like I got 17 of them coming and that is a very very nice for sure so we got the reinforced iron plates all pumped out I can throw some of them just right in here to get that aspect of the milestone complete now that one's almost done we just need tubes but let's come over and kind of get this dialed in the way I think we should be doing it here. Let's see now. I don't see... Uh, I mean, of course, I want to make sure I've got everything platformed nicely. But at the same note, I'm not super sweating it right here. <laughs> let's just go with something like that for the moment. And then that will allow us to throw down a constructor. We can just pop that bad boy, say... Yeah, let's just throw it right there. That's actually way too much of a gap. I didn't need to give it quite that much space, but whatever. It'll work. Let's uh, connect this bad boy up. Can't afford... Oh, need more plates. Now, in addition to that, I'm going to need to bring some power over to it. So... First things first, there's one more aspect of the power where we now want to make a transition, and that is, as we know, we have been burning the biomass in the biomass burners. Now we want to switch that up to biofuel, which is going to be a little bit more productive than the biomass is. So first things first, let's grab all of the biomass we've got in storage here. We actually had a nice little bit. Let's grab those leaves as well. Now let's craft the rest of these leaves into biomass, and then let's turn all of this into biofuel. Now biofuel, like I said, is going to run a little bit more optimally. It's not going to burn the fuel quite as fast as the biomass was, and the biomass burners are pretty efficient 
early game. Now, obviously, they're not putting out just a ton of juice, so we will want to uh, get that changed up down the road. But for right now, for right now, it's all good. Let's go ahead and pump out the rest of this. We got, what, another 80 more to go? And there we go. Now we've got all of our biofuel made, and I can just swap these directly out. So let's pull the biomass we got out of there and throw the biofuel in. We'll do the same thing here and throw the biofuel in, and then I'll use the rest of this biomass just to make, you guessed it, even more biofuel. So all the biomass we turn, pulled out of there, we'll just go ahead and recycle directly out right away. Now, the biomass, although it's not exactly scarce in the area it's not abundant either so eventually i am going to want to do a little biomass run to get that squared away now what did we want to do next we needed some belts and for belts we just needed more plates and then we also are going to want a storage which is going to be even more plates and some rods so let's get to it let's make up uh well let's just make up like 20 rods or so Whatever there. Let's uh, pump through some plates as well. And then that will give us plenty of room for some conveyors. Now, for the time being, I'm not really concerned about how clean this works over here. The main thing I'm concerned about is getting a nice, productive concrete maker in action. Because, you know, we're going to have some heavy-duty paving in order here. So I want to make sure we are squared away. So let's go ahead and think about the power setup here. Now, as far as our main network, we know this is our main network. Now, what do we want to do there? We don't really want to split the main network. However, we certainly could. But I do think a better way to go is just going to be just to continue this main network along. And we know eventually we're going to want it up there at the copper. So I think, why don't we go with a power pole say like just right here and see if we can't connect what will connect from the main network right there all the way over to here and then of course we can continue the main network along to uh you know to bring it up to the power eventually we'll just go ahead and put the pole there just so we have kind of a picture of what we want it and then we don't want our machines connected directly to the main network so let's throw another power pole. Let's just throw it right off to the side right here. And we'll bring a line over from the power there to here. And then we can go from here to each one of the machines. Now, anytime you're connecting new machines, always check your productivity. Uh, make sure you're still squared away. Of course, we've got the 40 megawatt capacity. We're only using 18 as much as it spiked up to you right there. So we've got a little ways to go yet on the power. Um, of course, oh, these are actually not even running yet. Let me connect these up first. And then let's look at that again. Let's see, it's up to 18. It's going to kick up even higher in a minute when this constructor kicks in. Let's see, it looks like I got a little lag spike there. Or we need to select concrete. All right. So that will kick it up a notch. Let's look again. It's at 17 right now. 22. There we go. Looks like we're going to uh, peak out at 22, which is not terrible. I'm not, uh, I'm not upset about that in any way, shape, or form. Now, what do we want to do about storage, though, as I don't want to lose any possible production here? Let's just put a storage container just directly right next to it, just right here on the ground. That's a kind of a temporary setup but it will get the job done for us and then we'll just belt right into it that way that concrete is going to be coming out and getting stored automatically so now we've got concrete production going i love it so what comes next i think next thing up now that we've got the concrete production going we can uh snag some of that concrete do we have any more copper we do have some. Let's split the stack. We'll put 50 copper there. And then we'll put the other 50 over here to keep that stuff smelting. 
I think the next thing is going to be to start working on the mining operation right here, which is going to mean, do I have space for all that stuff? It looks like I do. Let's pick all of these miners up. And I think we're going to be good on power here. Let's see, let's see. We want a miner, right? We want it kicking out this way. I think right there looks good. Now, where do we want the smelters going here? Seems like we would want the smelters just to continue down the line right here. Now, I got mixed emotions here. I kind of want to put a ramp right here just to make it uh, cosmetically a little bit better. But at the same note, it's really not terrible. So why don't we take a look at smelters. Let's just keep them in line with these others. Now we know right now we're only going to be able to use two of these smelters. I need some more rods. But we do know that down the road it is going to be able to make four as soon as I'm able to get the next tier of belts. Let's see where we get that. I don't think the next tier of belts is going to be in this tier at all no it's not so i'm gonna have to get to tier number three before i can get the next tier of belts and that's gonna mean i'm gonna need a space elevator so we are a ways out on that one yet let's just get those rods made up real quick here and get ourselves some more smelting going on this time i'm just gonna throw down the two smelters actually i may end up throwing down the four just so i know what it's gonna look like once i do get the belts you know, it never hurts. It never hurts to have things dialed in up front. Let's see. Let's go. We got the one smelter. Let's go with one more smelter. Let's give it a little bit of room in between. We'll go like right there. And then we would need two more smelters up top here. Now let's make sure they're kind of lined up with the rest of the row. Because, you know we got to keep things symmetrical and looking nice. And there we go. We've got our four smelters there. So now we could put what? We could put our splitter uh, back here. Our first splitter anyway. Or do we want it up top? I'm not sure. Mixed emotions, mixed emotions. Let's actually just go right here with this one. Like that. And then we would want the next splitter, say, right there. And that's going to allow us to go ahead and connect up like this. We'll connect that splitter. Encroaching others clearance. Alright, so that isn't going to work. Let's see, how do we want this splitter running? What in clearance is it encroaching, I wonder? I mean, there's got to be a way around this, right? I think the way around it would be... Oh, now I can't afford because I need the concrete. The way around it would be to put a pole in right here and then just conveyor up to it. So that's an easy fix. And those smelters are actually not going to be running right away anyway. So no big deal there. Let's just conveyor belt these other ones in. And now, of course, we need more power that is split off from our main power circuit. Now this is our main power circuit again. Let's continue it out one more just so there is no, whoop, need that concrete, just so there's no doubts on where we want to go with it. Let's just go ahead and snag the concrete here. It should be. We should have a little bit already made and in storage actually, so we'll be in good shape there. I'm really hoping there's another limestone here close, as I'm going to just burn through massive, massive amounts of this concrete. Now, now that I got such a powerful smiting, or smelting setup, a smiting setup, <laughs> we are smiting the iron over here. Now that I've got such a strong smelting setup, it makes me wonder... Let's see, let's go to there, and then we can go in... Oh, now can't afford because I don't have the belts or the the plates. Um, now that I've got a nice smelting setup going, I'm kind of curious as to what I want the rest of this to look like. 
Now let's see. How do we want to do this? I can do one more wire off this one. You know, the thing to do is to actually put in a power pole. Oh, actually, we already have one there. Very, very nice. So let's go with a power pole here, and we can branch off of the main network to it. And then that will allow us to get, what? There's three of the lines. Actually, we don't need those yet. Let's get rid of these two, as I just don't need those to be powered quite yet. What I can do is put another power pole over here and connect them just so I'm future-proofed and ready to go for when I am ready to connect those. But we want these guys connected to these two smelters. And then it's something, of course, that's not directly on our main power supply. It's uh, a branch off of it. Now we need some more plates to go up to that, but I'm not overly concerned about that. The main thing we want to do right now is get these bad boys pumping. And we want these making iron ingots as well. And we need to get some power on back here. So, let's see, we have the main power network. Let's just drop another power pole back here. We'll come off of the main power network. And then we'll go directly over... to the equipment and it should start drilling here in a minute now once again we're being limited by our belt speed we can only even though we're producing 120 ore per minute we can only move 60 ore per minute so this is definitely putting a bit of a dampering on our smelting production but we are set up for the future the only thing we need is the next tier of belts and we instantly double our iron production which is going to be a very nice now moving right along I want to kind of start getting a picture of where I want to go from here so let's grab the rest of the concrete that's available here and start coming up with a general idea of what we want to do now as I mentioned, I do want to elevate, so I want to go up in the air, but where do I want to start going up in the air? That is the part I'm unsure of. I'm thinking... You know what? I'm thinking actually over here. So I would want like a roadway going. That's going to allow me to get a vehicle down back down here to the main hub. And then I would like to start maybe ramping upwards. Maybe right about there. And that will uh, that will allow me to get a nice flat surface. We'll have our huge mining operation going down here. And then we'll start ramping up. Let's, uh, let's kind of take a look and see what it would look like here. See, we want... Oh, that's the wrong ramp. We want the 8x4s. And if we started ramping up here, what it could go something something like this. We'll make it a double double ramp up from that point, and then we can make this kind of our drive going down. Now with this big, massive, beautiful valley here, there's just no doubt in my mind the correct thing to do is to completely pave it. <laughs> As it's just going to allow a ridiculous setup. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get these guys on our hotbar as well. Make this ramping process a little bit smoother. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure how I want it to look yet. And I don't have all of the concrete I need. So I need more, more concrete production. That's just all there is to it. And I think that gives me a general idea. So we can come up in the air to an elevated platform maybe go like one more ramp up and then that looks like one more ramp up would really really provide a nice bit of space now i can make a chainsaw of course and get these trees and stuff out of the way and that's not only going to give me some biofuel but it's going to just make everything a lot cleaner looking so looking forward to that as well now things left to do still i need to find more limestone and i need to prioritize that Plus, 
I need to deal with the copper as right now we are just inefficient in that regard with the copper situation but first things first we are paving the world here so let's not uh, pretend let's get searching for some limestone here oh wow it says there's two nodes right there that is not too bad it's only 200 away wow I wonder if I get over there if it's actually gonna be limestone I'm a little tight on the inventory. It's alright, I can throw some miners down. Huh, it looks like it's right here. I mean, there's a limestone node right there, isn't it? There's some more nuts. Don't want to pass up on them pistachios. Yeah, this is limestone right here. So here is another one. Oh, and it's a pure limestone. Oh, I love it. That's going to allow me to really pump up that concrete production. Let's knock the cap off of this bad boy and then decide exactly what we want to do here. But the next step is going to be getting this one automated as well. Now, I am going to need more power. More power, more power. As we're just not going to have enough to keep all of this stuff running. But this is relatively close, really, when you look at the overall picture of things. So, I like it. i tell you what I'm going to do for right now. I mean, should I throw some things down? Where was that other node, too? It showed two of them here. That's 400 meters for that one. 187, so that one's down over the hill. Looks like it might be there on top of those rocks. I'm not going to worry about that limestone for now. This one's a pure node. Seems like the place to go with it. So we'll throw another miner right here. Do I even have... I do indeed have what I need. Let's see. Uh, this one's going to be a really wonky location too. Sits down in there nicely at certain angles. I think we're going to face this one this way and have it coming back over and then I can do like a constructor and whatever else right here on this ledge. In fact, we can go ahead and just get it paved up here and ready to go. So let's see, let's go foundation. And then this will be, I'm actually out of concrete again already, hence the massive need the massive, massive need for more limestone operations. So we're going to want to get a constructor down here. Of course, I don't have power on it yet. Let's belt over. Once again, we're being limited by that 60 per minute because of the belt. We're going to be making concrete here. That's only going to be using 45 per minute anyway. So we'll want to get... Uh, once we get better belts, we can actually split this up into like multiple constructors. I'm tempted just to do that now, but I'm not going to do it quite yet. We'll, uh, you know, just put the storage off to the side here. In fact, do I have what I need to get that down real quick? Nope, I don't. I'm missing the plates. So, can't finish this one out, but it's right here. I know where it is. And it's good to go. So, we got limestone production number two just squared away right down the road here might as well grab we'll cut the grass a little mow the lawn on the way back over and get all of that biomaterial for the biofuel and continue plugging along now i am at the point now where i've got an absolute crap ton of iron in that storage which is going to allow me just to blaze blaze right on through this current milestone and probably the next the next one even maybe Potentially, we'll have to see about that. But let's grab, let's grab some iron here. And let's get this next milestone knocked out. I actually have some concrete on me, right? Or I've got the, uh, the limestone on me anyway. I can make some more concrete here. So let's get this next milestone nailed down. And that's going to require what? 158 more iron rods. I actually have 43. 
So that would be what, 116 iron rods we're gonna need. Let's get that done real quick right now. Let's see, what do we need? 158 total. Just about there, there we go. Let's pop these in and next milestone is complete. Making our way through milestone reached tier Additional number two an inventory expansion you are now capable of removing foliage that consists we've got the chainsaw now too which is nice now what next we got part assembly jump pads walkways uh part assembly would be the next thing i think that i'd be interested in but to be honest with you i'm still a ways away from implementing that in fact i don't even have my copper automated yet so i mean i i need to get that moving here pretty darn quickly and then jump pads and walkways are more conveniences. But this is all stuff we can knock out pretty darn quick. Um, as you see, I actually have... What? I've got the copper already to complete that. I'm going to have the wire just from all this leftover copper to complete it. And we've got just a ton of iron to knock this next milestone out already. So we're getting a big jump forward in this particular tier. However, that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, next episode, we'll start working a little bit more on the main platform and start thinking about automation as I don't want to stand here in front of this crafting bench forever making these iron rods. So we will start working on getting those things in order. However, that is going to do it for now. So thank you all an absolute ton and I will see you soon. Take it easy.